Augmented reality at the KCNSE presents many interesting applications, everything from assembly to remote collaboration. We can use this technology to enhance our capabilities and make ourselves more efficient while improving ourselves for the future. So augmented reality is a view of the real world that is enhanced by computer data. So we're adding another dimension into a user's field of view. What we're trying to do is enhance a, a user's experience. Um, I like to think of it as uh, the next-gen uh, computing device, uh, where we're not looking necessarily at a two-dimensional screen. The screen is actually in three dimensions. By using augmented reality, this circuit board passes visual inspection. You can tell that, that this circuit passes. Uh, the green indicates that the components are correctly placed. Um, so this is a good board. Here, uh, we have the other board. You're not quite sure if it's going to pass visual inspection. This circuit board contains errors. And you can tell it fails. So augmented reality is being used to enhance the end user experience for products that are being made by the manufacturing industry, anywhere from the automotive to the aerospace. But it's also being used just like what we, how we want to use it. They want to use it to enhance the efficiency of their operations. Augmented reality is going to help assemblers put together product exactly the way it was supposed to be done. We wanted to investigate various ways to uh, perform an assisted assembly something to help operators during the assembly process. And so what we've come up with is an augmented reality application uh, where you scan a QR code uh, with work order number on it. So by launching this application and putting the QR code how to assemble a distance sensor. in the field of view, it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble these components. Experimenting with augmented reality makes me feel like a little kid again because you go back from playing on your computer games on the old Macs back in the day and now I'm using a headset to interact with my real world. It's like moving from the old flip phones to a smartphone.